So in today's video, I want to see which uh, company's face unlock does it best. Is it Google with the new Pixel 7 Pro or is it Samsung, which in this case is the Galaxy Z Flip 4, but Samsung's face unlock has been the same um, on all across all generations and they it ba basically works identically across all Samsung devices. So we're going to go ahead and see which company does it best. So first, let's go ahead and check out the race to wake unlock uh, speed test. So I'm just going to uh, wake up the phones by raising them. And they're both going to read my face and it seemed to be basically identical. Let's let's go ahead and try it one more time. So I'm just going to raise the phones. Yeah, they seem to be pretty good. Now, both phones have the option to completely skip the lock screen. So let's go ahead and do that so we can do a speed test to see which one is actually faster. All right, so I'm just going to raise the phones. Oh, wow. Pixel seem to be uh, much faster at that. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, the, the, the Pixel just seems to have a little bit more sensitive raise to wake. So it actually uh, wakes the phone up just ever so slightly faster than the Samsung. Yeah, you guys see that? Nice. So yeah, good job, Pixel. But here's where Samsung absolutely destroys the Pixel and you just have so much more options for face unlock. So for example, you can have it brighten the screen if it is dark out. So if it is dark and you're using the Pixel, face unlock will not work. Even if you're in a, some sort of dimly lit room, not even dark, the Pixel's face unlock just does not work. But on the Samsung, you have the option for the screen to brighten up, which obviously brightens up your face and then face unlock will work. Now, both phones have the option for eyes to be open whenever unlocking the phone. So that kind of helps with uh, security as well. Uh, now, you do have faster recognition. Again, you just have much more options on Samsung. So you have faster recognition on the Samsung, which is less secure and a, a video or image could uh, be used to recognize your face. But even with the faster recognition, the Pixel uh, still kind of outperformed it in the speed test. So let's go ahead and see how fast the Samsung is with faster recognition turned off, which makes face unlock a little bit more secure. So I'm just going to raise the phones. So yeah, as you guys saw, if you turn off faster recognition, it does make the, the Samsung ever so slightly slower, uh, but not by that much. But the Pixel is definitely faster. So yeah, the only options you get on the Pixel are just these two options. That's it. You don't have any other settings for face unlock. Another cool feature on Samsung's face unlock is that you can add alternative appearance. So if you wear glasses, sometimes a specific amount or a specific uh, tint of glasses will not work with face unlock. And we can actually add it to the Pixel. So or I'm sorry, the, the Galaxy so that it will work. So I kind of have to give the win, win to Samsung over here because of this option and this option. So the brighten screen and the alternative appearance definitely help with usability uh, because again, even at, at, at night, the Pixel just does not work with face unlock at all. Uh, as many times as I tried, it does not work. You, you need a pretty, pretty decent light source for the Pixel to work. Whereas again, with the Samsung, it brightens the screen, which then unlocks the phone. Now you may like that, you may not, not like that, but again, you do have that option. So if you don't like that, you can turn it off, but just know that your phone will, uh, will not really unlock with your face at, at night. So when it comes to the speed of the unlock, even with the added security, Google kind of takes the cake on that one. Um, because even if you turn off the security or the added security, um, the Samsung is still a little bit slower. And then if you turn on that added security, the Samsung is, uh, well, as you guys saw, quite a bit slower. But when it comes to the overall features, the Samsung obviously wins. As you guys saw, you do have way more options. So which phone's face unlock do you prefer? Do you prefer the Google Pixel or do you prefer the Samsung Galaxy? And if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'll be doing a lot more Pixel videos, such as from the Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 7, of course, and the Pixel Watch review is coming out shortly. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely click that like button because it's completely free to you, but it helps me and the channel out quite a lot, and I truly appreciate it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.